Hello again, everyone, and welcome to this week's Gospel Talk. Today, we're going to be celebrating the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And once again, we're going to be hearing from the Gospel of Mark. My name is John Herbert. I'm the Director of Pastoral Care, Mission Integration, and the Chaplain here at Franciscan Villa. But I think you all know that by now. I will read the Gospel that you'll be hearing uh, this 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'll give you my thoughts about it, and I welcome you to take the hearing of that gospel and the thoughts that I give you, take them with you to wherever you're going to worship this Saturday or Sunday. Listen to the gospel again, but most importantly, listen to what your heart is telling you while you're listening to that gospel, because that is the message you yourself is supposed to be getting. So let us begin. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and they preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus sends the apostles out in pairs to go to villages to give them a taste, unbeknownst to them at this time, of what he was going to expect them to do when he was gone in the future. In a sense, it was trial by air and training by fire. He told them their provisions would be provided for, therefore they shouldn't take an extra tunic, they shouldn't take any money, they shouldn't take any food, and that they should rely on the fact that the Holy Spirit would guide them and provide them with whatever they needed to accomplish. And so that is what they did. They went off to help people understand that their role as humans was to know and to love God and to glorify God, much like our Baltimore Catechism taught us when we were children. They were told that they were to know, help people know and understand and love and glorify God, that that was their purpose here. And their greater purpose was letting other people know and understand their purpose. The bottom line is, the message here is very, very simple. We go through life wanting stuff, wanting things, collecting things. In fact, the, the old comedian from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, George Carlin, had a big comedy bit about stuff. We focus our lives on accumulating stuff. And how many gospels did Jesus tell us your treasure will be in heaven? And how many times have we heard that we can't take it with you? And both of course are very, very true. If we look at the monks or people that devote their life to serving God, they they often live in communities where everything is gathered together. Whatever they earn doing what they do goes to the community. They don't have individual possessions. They don't have individual wealth. They live a very simple life. And that simple life leads to great happiness and a lot less stress. 
Often we focus on things that are unnecessary. How do I look? Are my clothes up to par? Is my hair good? Are my accessories matching what I'm wearing? What kind of car am I going to drive? Will it be impressive? What kind of watch do I wear? Things of that nature. And Jesus is telling us that living simply is living in a very holy way. After all, we can't take anything with us. And we will, as promised by Jesus, have anything we could ever want once we're in heaven with him for an eternity. So let us remember also that when we do attend masses and are part of parishes, let us contribute to the collection as best we can. Let us do so privately. No one needs to know because the clergy that we support are able to survive in that way. And being generous in our donations is a very good way to support them. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful 15th Sunday in ordinary time. I hope wherever you choose to worship, it fills your heart, mind, body, and soul. Remember to live simply and love strongly and listen to our hearts because that's where our Holy Spirit resides. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. And thank you for joining us.